My name is Sunny, Sunny Handel. I'm a contributor to The Guardian. I'm an editor of a blog called Liberal Conspiracy. And um, I write for other newspapers as well sometimes. So I'm a general commentator and writer. Well, I think the aim of journalism is to tell stories and to try and ex explain to people what's going on in the world. And so you've got different areas to cover. And you know the aim is to try and say, this is news or this is what's going on. How is this going to affect your life? And you know, different. There's different kinds of journalism. Obviously, from the Daily Mail, which tries to tell more human life, human interest stories, yeah. to say, for example, broadsheets like the Guardian, who will report on politics in Westminster. Yeah. You know, um, and it's seen as a broadsheet. So you have different kinds of journalism. You have opinion, news journalism. So yeah, I mean, I do opinion mostly. Ninety-nine percent of the time, I use my desktop computer, yeah. and that's to write stuff. Uh, and then I will email it directly to people uh, to publish, right? whether it's a newspaper or uh, whether it's online. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I have other, I mean, I sometimes use my iPhone also to do work, um, and that means recording uh, audio and video to um, also doing writing on it sometimes. You know, and even uh, I can edit my blog from my iPhone, you know, mm -hmm. using the. Um, WordPress application tool and then I also use my uh, tablet now yeah. so I've got a new tablet which is the um, Galaxy Nexus uh, the Google Nexus and I use that more and more to um, when I have Wi-Fi to do my work the internet is central to all my work um, especially since I'm an online journalist primarily you know and I do a lot of blogging and writing which is all online Without the internet, I wouldn't have access to my news or my applications and tools to do, uh, you know, to do my writing basically. So that's important, and obviously, I need certain applications that I can use in order to do my work. I think it's too early to say whether journalism has changed for good or bad. Right. Uh, most people will say it's changed for the bad because exactly. it's become much more short-term, and it's become much more. Um, uh, there's much less money in it because people yeah. are less willing to pay for newspapers yeah. to get the information, right? Um, and so that means the industry itself is dying or at least having some major issues, or at least print media is anyway, I mean, if not uh, television or online journalism. Um, where it's improved, I think, is that you have access to a lot more people to get your news stories from. You have different kinds of journalism from live blogging to you know, um, it's much more easier to get internet, uh, sorry, TV and video and pictures uh, to uh, embed as part of the stories and make them part of the story. Um, so it created more richer journalism, um, democratized people's voices as well through blogging. So all those things, I think, have made the art of storytelling better because there are now thousands more people I can read. Yeah. Uh, for it's reaching out to more people. yeah you know whereas in the past I would just buy a newspaper and those are the so the mass media would read citizen journalists in one sense I mean yeah. I never got training um, formal training in a journalism school I got um, my degree was in economics but I ended up doing journalism because I was interested in online media I set up an online magazine which became successful you know and I run now a political blog which is quite successful all those things make me a citizen journalist because no one licensed me, you know, and no one, yeah. I didn't work for a formal newspaper beforehand, and I was able to get myself heard and do news without anyone else's assistance, you know. So I love citizen journalism, obviously, because I'm, I'm a citizen yeah, journalist, yeah. you know, but at the same time, I think. Um, there, there is done danger is that people put out information and news which is wrong, and so you always have to fact check your stuff yeah. before you go out. And sometimes I make the mistake of not doing that too. Don't think I don't think it's possible to say Twitter is ruining journalism because Twitter gives people, journalists especially, much more access to others. Yeah. You know who can provide them with stories or they can hear about information first and all the rest of it. So I think every journalist that I know of who is on Twitter would say. It has been an excellent experience. Yeah. The actual only downside has been that it's so interesting and so distracting that you don't get end up doing much work. Even if Twitter wasn't around, newspaper would still be losing a lot of money. If you want to be a citizen journalist, then I would say firstly learn HTML. Yeah. Because I think learning the basics of online sort of uh, 
how the internet works yeah. is very useful. Mm-hmm. I would say have develop a nose for stories. So try and think about where can stories come from. Constantly read a lot. I mean, I tell this to everyone. Just learn to read constantly yeah. from lots of different sources. So you get an understanding of what is news, what is a news. You get an understanding of where could the next news come from. You know that kind of stuff. And that will also help you develop uh, your own instincts for yeah. a new story. Um, I would also say learn to edit your own work, cut it down a lot, so that you don't sound too long. So experiment with different stuff. You know, I know people who are journalists entirely on video, and they will just post videos online. I know people who just do a lot of uh, photographic journalism. You know, people who just do short stories on uh, short news stories on particular niche areas. So you know, you can you can experiment with the web, and you can try a different thing. You can try a lot of different things, but. Um, you should always experiment with what people want, what is successful, what isn't, uh, what would work, what would work, uh, stuff like that. And, um, and you know, constantly look out for new technologies that will help you do your work.